before it's too late. Far from Nestvel, in the west of Zeeland, is Entvorsko, an area where the military is restoring the wetlands. In the trees above these quiet little ponds, within the camp's boundaries, a tiny green amphibian is making a comeback under the military's protection. The European tree frog has vanished from more than 90% of its former range and is listed on the IUCN's red list of the world's most endangered species. Each day in early summer, as the sun sinks below the horizon, these vibrant creatures descend from the trees to attract a mate in the ponds below. The tree frog is staging a comeback here due to the efforts of one dedicated biologist, Cora Fogg, who has almost single-handedly rescued the species from the edge of extinction. This small pond was the single pond in this whole region where that species survived. Before Cora began his work to save the tree frog in 1988, Numbers had declined to such a point that inbreeding was causing problems such as mutations and infertility. The frogs surviving here uh, are not the healthy frogs it could have been if we had uh, done the same thing maybe 10 years before. Luckily, another small population of tree frogs survived about 20 kilometres away, and it was possible to strengthen an already weakened gene pool. Taking um, eggs from this area and from the other area and releasing froglets from both sources so that they could uh, interbreed up at that new place. When looking for suitable habitats to establish new colonies of tree frogs, the ponds in the military areas were an obvious choice. Numbers are now on the rise, but the little green tree frog survival is not guaranteed, with the species genetic variation at its lowest point. You need more than ever genetic variability in your populations because they must have such a variation that they are still able to adapt and adapt and adapt to all that happens to them now. And so if you conserve only the, the largest populations, the most conspicuous, the most famous, and not the small ones which nobody thinks about, you lose too much genetic variation. The small population where there's just one or two animals left, they are so important because they have other genes than the others have. With Cora Foe and the Danish Defence Forces as its allies, the future looks bright for the European tree frog. <laughs>